Okay. Gotta gotta get myself together. Gotta get myself together. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, a sandwich. Bugger yourself off, bitch! Miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. I said miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. I said miss Greetings and good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Lion's Rend. I am your host, V. I'm here in these final throws, the final three. The, you guys get the picture. The, the farewell tour is almost over, but we're not at the penultimate episode yet, so keep your pants on. Or if you're one of those people watching in your underwear, keep your panties on. I don't want to see y'all naked. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys already saw the thumbnail about the day... The lion died and the shadow was born. Y'all probably wonder what the fuck that means. What the hell is all this got to do? And why do I keep putting a middle finger in Twitch's face? Wait, this isn't Twitch. This is YouTube. Oh, what's the fucking difference? They're the same goddamn bird. But why the hell am I putting a middle finger to both of them? Well, one, I don't give a shit about this whole demonetization shit about cursing in the first few minutes of a goddamn motherfucking video. Stop being pussies. You already have YouTube kids. Stop fucking being pussies. Bitch. And second, we're just gonna now, we're just gonna now let it cook. Let's get it cooked now. Yeah. Uh huh. So many people probably wondering about this whole change up in my whole identity. Like, what changed for me to go from being a lion to a shadow beast? What's the whole big deal? Cause for anyone that's in the know about me running a business, y'all also gotta know I run two businesses. I'm a CEO of a third business, and I'm in the midst of trying to start a third business, motherfuckers. Your boys probably got that whole nom de guerre about lions everywhere. It's my whole credence, my whole thing. I had my buddy Dory from Dory Stories draw me as if I was Black Steven Universe with my own lion. It was so dope. It was grand. It was spectacular. But the symbol is gone. And the story of it is honestly stuff that people would be like, is it from that story you did on your live stream? Is it about that couple in tech? It's not about them, honestly. I actually came up with this identity long beforehand, but I was just sitting on it. Because I had this random dream in the midst of me making this autobiographical film about uh the final days well actually the final year with my ex jade when we lost the twins which is thankfully a canceled movie and i also lost a uh, tv show right because of it but whatever i was just laying down kind of having one of my uh typical panic attacks at the time i was not in a good place mentally at all i had at least eight breakdowns a day that i concealed by either Drinking heavily, working out, or trying to, uh, do insert inappropriate activity with insert co-worker here. I was just a hot mess. I was not in a good place. Cause that movie fucked me up. But during those moments when I was just trying to collect myself and at least find solace in my dreams, I had this weird vision of the future. It literally was me sitting in a nice little den with what I was confused about at the time, but now it makes a lot more sense of this lady with this raven pin in her hair. She was resting her head on my shoulder while we had these silver rings that I was confused by with a heart and a sword in it. And I was just like, what's going on? What's happening? And then it's... Me in the den, but it's apparently us at a photo shoot where they're just like, Shadow, can you look to your left so we can get more of a moody atmosphere? We want to make sure this promotional stuff gets a lot more pushback for what's happening. And I'm still confused. I thought I was just going to be known as Lion the rest of my life. What is happening? I didn't have it click in me until after the events happened that made me go into this whole recluse state where I'm now semi-retired from voice acting and blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't care about that nonsense. And I'm in the middle of therapy and the vision comes back. It's the same vision, but I can't make out the lady's face. All I can see is a raven pin 
and her head on my shoulder, its long hair just obscuring her face as if she's just trying to nuzzle up to me to make me feel happy and at ease because I'm nervous, but I'm also excited and at peace, but I'm still referred to as Shadow. So I first try to use the nom de guerre of Sombrecero, which in translation for people that don't speak Spanish is Zero Shadow. Like I was a zero enigma hidden beneath darkness, which is just an abyssal shadow. That was all I could really piece from it. Just like maybe it's this thing of me going through the whole ringer after therapy and I find someone in therapy that I end up falling in love with. That's what I originally thought was going to be the case. Little did we know I was completely off. No, instead... It just kind of expanded more in my brain about what do shadows create? And then I kept going back and forth into stuff I've made in the past. I've made stuff with voodoo, hoodoo, and many different acts of the dark spells back when I used to be a witch doctor. I've done so many stuff looking into demonology enough to know what my grimorum would be if I went into it to be a demonic priest. I've looked into so many things different things and different avenues that it clicked in my head about what shadows do create and shadows create either the most immaculate visage of a human being or the most disastrous of monsters but it always culminates from a beast that's always misunderstood because it's always labeled as evil by those that live in the light, those that live in the holier-than-thou central palace of what it means to be human. And when I had that as my thought process, and I was just going through it in my head, I was just hit with that whole big realization moment of, this is why I'm shadow in the vision. It's not because I'm a zero that's hidden away in the darkness because I have nothing to give anymore. I'm always giving. I'm always going to be there. I'm just going to be misunderstood, mislabeled, always mistrusted by those that don't understand me, and I'm going to always twist it to be at my advantage. While they're trying to put stoplights in every single thing that I do, I make it a green light. Whatever obstacle they put in my way, I tear it down and make it into an amusement park. This is my actual true self. This is my real being. I am the shadow beast for a reason. I don't shun from the light because I'm scared. I deny it because I don't need it. I don't need to walk on the same path as those that want to bask in in the holier-than-thou light by just tearing down others. I dwell in the darkness with those that are beaten, misunderstood, misused, abused, and just so many different things that they can't even claw out of because they're always pushed aside, always just mangled and twisted into this unrecognizable form. I walk with them. I don't walk with people that act like they're greater than what they need to be. I am better off in the dredges with those that are shunned by society because I know what that's like. I work best with those that can't walk in those circles because they know what having pain really is. I don't work well with those that want to act like their vision is greater than all those that stand before them because I know what it's like to be basically dismissed because your idea might be greater than theirs. This is my home, and I don't need to be just a simple lion to be in. I can be a dragon, I could be a whole entire hawk and thunderbird, I could be the legendary white tiger from Chinese mythos, I could be the avatar for Baron Samedi himself. I'm still gonna be me, while everyone else that wants to act like they're my competition and act like they know better than I'll ever do, they're just gonna be them. I don't need to have them as my competition because we're not even in the same leagues at this point. I know who I am, and for those of you that act like you do, sit down and actually look at yourselves and tell me, who are you? Who are you truly? And where do you reside? Because if you can say that you 
belong in that whole bright, brilliant palace of yours with a straight face without ever questioning and doubting yourself, that's great and that's beautiful. But if you can't do it and you're just now doubting yourself, you're now just viewing yourself as a truly disgusting visage of what it means to be human, well then, it just is what it is. Are you dumb? I'm the smoothest you here. You worried about a tier list. I'll leave your list in tears. I bring them fear. It'll click from the psycho soldier. So many holes in you. It triggers my tripophobia. Lines go over you, dumb dumb. You won't leave with your lungs intact. Don't get them the first time. I'll skirt and run it back.